that's a nice question. Um, I think just someone who understands even more now just the, the definition of being a professional because I think that was my first time going year round. Um, so I was definitely more uh, into the details of taking care of my body after a match, um, watching film back, uh, asking even more questions at training, working on stuff individually. Um, not to say I wasn't doing those things before, but I think there was this magnitude to it because I was in Australia um, and didn't necessarily know as many people before. So I had a lot more alone time to kind of do things of like, all right, what can I work on 10 minutes, 30 minutes today that can make me better uh, as a player for continuing my career? Yeah, so I think the league, uh, it's the structure is, is, is awesome. I think it's growing. I think when they're getting more players uh, from from America, also other internationals, it's it's raising the level, um, and I think as you, because of me, I was coming in as a as international. You're expected to to make a difference in a match, right? Expected to be an impact player. So I had a little bit more responsibility in a sense of right. Art, this is an important game for our team. How can I help us get these three points? So I, I like that. I think it challenged me. I think uh, maybe in the years past, I haven't been the person that. Uh, that has been looked to in those situations. So that was really that was really cool to have that pressure and how I was going to deal with that pressure. Yeah, well, I don't know if I would say I was disconnected. I just think I have a different experience, right? Because I was born in England and then I grew up in America, but a lot of my family was still in England. So I do have, and then my parents are Nigerian, so I do have these three nationalities that are very important to me. Um, and people always ask me, well, like, not necessarily which one I like more, but who do I feel more connected with? And I think all three of them really do make me who I am today. So um, that experience to, to put on an England kit for the first time, represent the Lioness, this is something I'll never forget. Um, I was saying earlier that I actually got the call on my birthday uh, that I was going to get invited into a camp, and that was probably one of the best birthday gifts I've ever received. Um, and then from then September to November to, to go in my first camp and to get my first cap and to get my first goal was literally a dream come true. Um, I'm very grateful for Phil for giving me the opportunity and, and the girls for being so warm and welcoming and generally having this sense of happiness for me when I was getting a cap and getting the goal. Um, and it just confirmed that I think I was supposed to be in that situation. That was the country I was supposed to represent, hopefully, uh, at a World Cup come the summer. Yeah, so Phil's, Phil's really awesome when communicating with everyone who's in, in the pool. Uh, he texts, he has like WhatsApp groups with each individual, um, and he knew I was starting preseason, so he sent, sent me a message on Monday just, you know, telling me to train hard and you know, enjoy it. Um, and then he, he knows Mark, so I'm sure they're having some conversations too. But it's always nice to, to check in with a coach and have that, um, you know, that kind of personal relationship and not just uh, he's my boss, right? Um, so yeah, I think he does a really good job of balancing them. Yeah, so I think I think for me in England when I played my first year at Arsenal, from going from so I went from college to that experience, I think I learned a lot more about the technical and tactical uh, aspects of the game. I think uh, it made me it made me think and maybe not rely on my athleticism as much um, and hone on my skills a lot more, uh, which was awesome. I'm only going to grow as that. I think in America there's a speed of play. There's this there's this night this mentality of you're not going to get by me by any means, and um, I think it's it's special and it's rare. Um, and then in Australia, I think there's uh, there's this growth of the of the league. It's it's hard to say what um, what the identity is. I was only there a brief time, but I did enjoy my experience. I think what they're implementing is good, and I think if they keep getting. Uh, international players is going to grow the league and they also have this balance of helping the the youth or their development players you know playing at 17 18 with you know with these uh, World Cup Olympians and I think that's awesome that they're getting an opportunity to do that because they're going to grow massive yeah so I actually had a meeting with him yesterday and he was just kind of he's he's very intelligent he's very um, he works really hard so he's already watched every game from last year and he was pulling up his like uh, what do you call it? Your iP his iPad, and he had all these like screenshots with his little scribbles on, and the detail was crazy. But um, he already, you know, kind of told me what I what he thought I could work on and where he thought I was solid at. But it was so nice to hear like how much detail of each thing, and like, and I agreed with everything he was saying for the most part. Um, and it'll be cool to see how you know he said he was excited to help me grow, and he was excited to help me help the team, you know, accomplish what 
what, what we can this year. So I think everyone has been really impressed with training sessions and the detail and, and the energy. Um, and he's always saying brains over brawn. He wants us to start making sophisticated decisions on the ball, not just doing a 30-yard switch just because it's on, you know. And I think that's something a lot of us might be hearing for the first time, and it's really it's going to be really good for us. Yeah, so I think I think at the international level would probably be my uh, first exposure to it. Um, and then having Mark now at the club level is just like supplementing that. I think Phil and Mark are uh, they both have an understanding of the game that's very very uh, intelligent, very superior, and, and I think uh, if I'm if I'm ready and ready to learn, ready to work, uh, I'm going to get better from both from both those coaches. I think so. I'm kind of I kind of think anyone can learn from anybody, no matter the age and no matter uh, the position they're in. So uh, for me, I just try to be who I am. I try to be um, you know a good person first. That's that's what humanity is about, and then you know footballer. Second, and for me, I love. You're gonna get. You're gonna get my full effort every day. So, and I'm gonna. I want to ask questions. I want to understand what it is X or Y wants to see. Um, and at the same time, I want to be myself. I want to be creative. I want to um, attack at people. I want to provide opportunities for the team. Um, and if someone can get something out of that for me, that's awesome. Then I'm hopefully I'm hoping you grow. But um, I don't want to sit here and label myself leader or whatever because I think I'm learning every day. Um, I do think I have a little bit more experience now being at the club for a couple years. Um, but yeah, I just want to be confident in, in myself and, and, and this team. Well, the pride surprised the rest of the league. I think we have our expectations. Um, um, and I think for me, I'll, I'll keep that in house. If Mark wants to share what those expectations are, then that's, you know, we're going to support him. Um, but like I said, I think I. I think really highly of my team, the talent on this team is unreal. And I can tell you they work just as hard, if not harder. So um, if we execute, if, we, if we're consistent in the play, I'm beyond excited about what we can accomplish this year. Yeah, it's awesome, right? Because, I mean, last year, if we're, if we're going to be frank, they kind of killed everyone in the, in the league. They scored most goals for. I think they had the fewest goals against. Um, they had this confidence, this swagger about them that you weren't going to touch when they're on the field, you know? Um, so I think that's awesome that one of our first preseason games is going against the defending champions. We're going we're gonna to see what we're about, you know, early on in the preseason. So um, it'll be really cool to see how we adapt and how we, how we come out against, against a team like that. Like they, they've kept majority of the same players and we have uh, a new staff and some new faces. Um, but regardless of the experience, we're going to learn and we're going to grow. And it's going to be something that's in our pocket to, to see where we started from, you know, now to the end of the season. Yeah, so for me, it's just Yale Averbush, who's, uh, she's no longer with Seattle just due to some uh, health conditions, but she, uh, she's been working on this for a really, really long time, and she's really passionate about, about the game and growing our game, and she's a very selfless woman, so I just knew I wanted to help in any way I can. Um, and my, my role with that is just kind of, I inform the team of the decisions that have kind of been either they're going along or they have happened. So we jump on some conference calls with, with the end of the league and, and Yale kind of uh, gives us some guide points of, you know, this is what we're trying to accomplish. And for the most part, it's just a general communication. Sometimes the, the schedule was coming out and we had no idea. Um, sometimes these games were being scheduled in so-and-so point uh, because of, like, for example, this year it's a World Cup year um, and we had no idea why they were doing such things. So it's just the conversation of, um, you know, like this year they gave us a template of like, would you guys want the league to break at this time or this time, this time? We were able to share that with each club and, you know, teams can have a conversation with, with, uh, with the players and, and the staff. And that's, I think that's really good. I think that's awesome just to have a conversation, just be involved because sometimes uh, that can go a long way with, with a group of people.